Salam salam Tashler and welcome to the video about metal points. Um, not this, this is just graphite. But these mechanical pencils are loaded with some metals. This I use as a mix bunch, but this is Latin uh, alloy, this is copper, and these two are silver in different widths. 0.7 and 0.5 namely metal point primarily silver point was a traditional way of drawing for example for medieval Europeans Europeans of Renaissance period and maybe other civilizations but there is nothing about it on Wikipedia so if you want to connect with the old masters to learn their techniques to I don't know what, just if you wanna have some fun with metals, watch this video. Most metals won't leave clear enough marks on average paper, maybe for the exception of tin and its alloys with uh, lead, or of course just lead itself, but we don't talk about that on the internet. So, you will need something to prime your paper with. Traditionally, it was uh, animal glue plus chalk or some other white pigment gesso. And you can still find some modern variations of it in art shops. I've definitely seen some on Jackson's art. But personally, I prefer acrylic primer, not this one because the brand is cancelled. Just acrylic paint, gouache paints. Or, or the bougie way, like polyvinyl acetate paints. This is called temper, but I think they're uh, they're also sold as acryl acrylic like uh, vinyl paints. You can try to use watercolor, but it's even more fragile than, for example, gouache, and gouache is quite fragile on paper. You can definitely see some cracking on this bullfinch and on those storks and it yeah it leaves marks but anything is usable if you just want to try the surface should be on the rougher matte side because like on the mentioned before acrylic primer uh, which leaves a glossy finish the metals all go a bit slippery and disgusting the best option is of course to just buy artist grade leads like i did with my silver uh, you can also find tin and gold, but of course gold got gonna be pricey. I bought it on Jackson's Art, maybe you can find some other stores. But if you don't have <laughs> those, if you are really eager to try something of metal points, you can find solder, like tin for soldering, uh, copper wires, uh, aluminium wires or steel but those are super options uh, solder is not consistent and might scratch feel scratchy on even on primer copper is quite hard and it disappears very quickly or at least changes color Steel is very hard, so only use it if you're, for some reason, dead desperate. Aluminium is somewhat alright, although it should disappear, it doesn't. Well, it didn't for me for a long time that I've used it. But still, uh, use with, with caution. You can go for some a bit more bananas options like jewelry grade silver 
which might not be as stable as artist grade silver. It will turn green from higher copper content, but it is an option. Or even more bananas like brass, just find some scrap, form it into a lead and you might draw it somewhat stable at least in my sketchbook it was uh, brass is copper plus zinc alloy uh, it's pretty good for gold you of course can disassemble some old jewelry but you also can find your grandma's golden teeth i'm sorry grandma It's all the same, it's stable. Gold is one of the most comfortable to draw with, second from silver. And also, uh, all the metals are shiny when you first apply them. But gold keeps its sheen like probably forever. Okay, you can try erasing it, but this is silver. But the surface gets a bit damaged from the rubber. Well, or rather rubber gets stuck in the grain of the primer and the surface becomes slippery. It's workable, but unpleasant. These are from two or three years ago or more. And the silver still shines. But copper turn yellow. I don't know why not green, but yellow. Uh, brass is still gray. Same with tin here, but somehow it disappears on other testing papers i don't know why and of course my first gold is from a ring not grandma's tooth um mm, it's trust me it's shiny here i am again with the old tests only gold is added now but aluminium somehow still shines Copper became yellowish, uh, brass is still grey but somewhat dull, and silver has also become duller and a little more brownish. But you can see that all the metals have slightly different colors, and it, it's noticeable even in fresh state. Here comes the sudden realization that this drawing was made using this jewelry grade silver that came from this exact bracelet uh it's definitely like four three to four years old and it didn't change at all so instead of doing more of those scribbles let's do something more con concrete I already tried painting the portrait of Madame X by Sargent in gouache before, but now let's try drawing it in metal point. Here's a quick sketch. Next, let's try drawing the real thing. I started with copper because copper disappears, or at least yellows, anyways, before continuing on with silver. Silver in different widths, but my main one is 0.7. I did the overline, just added some shading, uh, simple hatching, and it's over. I know it's a quick sketch, but here it is. Portrait of Madame X by John Sargent. Redraw by Karga. Karga, out. <laughs>